Hi guys! When I used to go to Hong Kong style cafes a lot, and by a lot I mean almost every day, I used to get the same drinks every time. Hot or iced milk tea, iced milk coffee or dong ying yun, which was half milk tea and half milk coffee. I stopped going to those cafes when I became a broke college student and after a broke college graduate, and never went back after I became vegan since those places aren't very vegan friendly. Still, I missed having those drinks. One key ingredient was sweetened condensed milk, and even though I know it's out there somewhere, I haven't found a vegan version in my local grocery stores. So finally, I got around to veganizing that ingredient this week, and it's so easy, I just had to share it with you guys. I started with ordinary store-bought unsweetened soy milk. I'm not particular about brand for this one, just so long as it isn't a reduced fat variety. For this recipe, I used two cups. It goes directly into a medium-sized saucepan over high heat, and then in goes the sugar. I know you guys are going to ask me if you can sub stevia, coconut sugar, date sugar, etc. The short answer is no. You will not get the same kind of flavor or texture if you use those. However, I always encourage you guys to do whatever fits your lifestyle and experiment. If you do try this recipe with other sweeteners, please come back and let the rest of the class know how it went in the comments below. Now we wait for this to boil. It took about 5 minutes. Don't walk away from this. Once it starts to boil, it will bubble up quickly. Stir it vigorously to settle it back down or remove it from the heat completely. Then turn the heat to medium and continue to let this cook until the liquid reduces to about one cup's worth. How long this takes will depend on your stove's heat, which brand of soy milk you used, the humidity in your kitchen, and even the altitude. You can stir it every so often. See this buildup on the side? I like to help it dissolve back into the mixture by tilting the pot like this and mixing the bits in. Like with cooking caramel or syrup, you need to keep an eye on this. It only takes a couple seconds to go from peacefully cooking on the stove to bubbling over and making a big mess. The mixture will turn from milky white to cream colored to a bit dark like this. In the final 10 minutes or so, I had to stir it constantly to keep the milk from bubbling over. The alternative to this is to reduce the heat and just cook it for longer, but I wanted to minimize the cooking time. You can pour it into a measuring cup to see if the liquid has reduced enough. This isn't reduced enough, so I poured it back into the pot and kept cooking. In total, this batch took about 45 minutes of cook time. Is it a long time? Yep. Is it worth it? I think so, especially since I haven't found sweetened condensed soy milk in any of my local stores. So now I can finally make my milk coffee, almost like they do in Hong Kong style cafes. I only had large chunky ice cubes though. They use fine crushed ice in the restaurants. So this looks different, but it tastes just as delicious as I remember. Vietnamese iced coffee is also made similarly, but with a darker roast coffee and a French drip filter that I don't have. In Chinese cuisine, condensed milk is sometimes used alongside plain steamed buns, also known as mantau. What would you use this vegan sweetened condensed milk for? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so very much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and share it on Facebook, Twitter, or wherever. If you're on Instagram, please tag me if you make this or another one of my recipes. I can't even begin to tell you how happy it makes me when you guys share these photos with me. I get positively giddy. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now!